G'day and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to tell you why I don't ride in the rain. And it might not be what you think. So before we start, if you want to get more videos from me and be notified when I post next, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. If you find value in the videos that I post and you know that other people would like them, make sure you smash that like button because that means other people get to see them. Anyway, so here are my reasons for not riding in the rain. And it might not be what you think. I've been cycling for most of my life and when I raced, um, I used to train in the rain because I knew that I would have to race in the rain. I've had some of my best results in the rain actually. And when the conditions got worse um, and there were fewer people willing to take risks, um, I was always there at the front. Uh, when I was a courier, likewise, got paid to deliver messages, whatever the weather was. So I soon realised that when it was raining, I could actually make a little bit more money because there were fewer people um, willing to ride in really poor conditions. Um, anyway, if I didn't ride in the rain, I didn't get paid. So uh, I never used to really mind riding in the rain. It was just part of the job. When I started commuting to work about 10 years ago, uh, I used to take some sort of strange masochistic pride in um, riding every day to work, rain, hail or shine. and came through some pretty gnarly conditions um, when riding to work. Um, but lately, over the past few years, my perspective on wet weather riding has changed. I started to realise something that um, made me question uh, why I needed to ride in the rain, if there was a real need to ride in the rain at all. Yeah, on a very practical note, Brisbane has about 116 to 124 rain days per year. So that's about 245 sunny days without any rain. And last year in 2019, I rode on 222 days of the year. So that gave me about two or three weeks where uh, I still had a bit of buffer against those rainy days. Um, I did ride some rainy days. I had to look back to 2016 to find a year where I'd done an equivalent amount of riding. So in 2016, I rode roughly 12,250 k's, riding mostly fixed gear on 258 days of the year. So that means there would have been about, well, more than two weeks of wet weather riding. 193 days were on the com commute compared to 140 days last year. In 2019, my longest ride was uh, 234k. So I did seven Imperial Centuries in 2019, and six of those rides were over 200k's. So my longest ride in 2016 was 127k. So I don't really know how many hours I spent riding in the rain, um, but I can say that there was no buffer. You know, I rode at least 13 days out of those 258 um, were almost certainly wet weather days. These days I'm not training to ride in the rain, so there's no real need for me to be that specific about my training. And I don't get paid to ride in the rain, so there's no motivation there for me to do that. I don't have to, and I stopped feeling guilty about it a long time ago. I know that I'll probably ride, in 2020, I'll probably ride 220 days. Um, and I know that they don't have to be in the rain because there are more than 245 days of the year that'll be rain free. Anyway, that's all I've got time for today. So thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Um, looks like the sun's coming out anyway, I might get a ride in, so peace.